so this is Jared. Just to kind of dig through some of these folders, let's start here. So you've got this uh, here, um, which is connected to when you created your um, my box textures, and then you've got stuff in a lot of different folders here. So in here, you've got these two textures there. So layer default, blah blah blah. So these should be in the source images directory of the project you're currently working in. And these as well, these paintings should be in the source images directory of the project you're currently working in. And oh wait, we already is there more Mudbox stuff? Did we already find this? Oh, okay, we already found that one. And Oops. Library. Yeah. So yeah, you just have a lot of textures in a lot of different places. That's the main thing. Um, that's why it's coming up with so many folders. I couldn't find um, some of the files, uh, ones you're referencing. Like, I would have thought, oh god, there's so many folders. So there's that one, but then there's files. Oh yeah, here the character project. Oh yeah, and then there's this. So there's a lot of your source images, but you need to get the rest of them here and then relink them from inside Maya. And then scenes. Aha! Is this? Oh, there's the house. Okay. So yeah, it's just you just need to get your stuff organized, really. Um. <laughs> um. Is that the house? Oh no, that's that's the character. I don't know. Oh, okay. I don't know where everything is. Uh, it's just it's a bit of a mess. So I can't really open your my file um, just because it's there's so many different things, so many different folders. It just doesn't seem to be opening for me. Um, but uh, let's look back at this. Um, yeah, I think the environment looks really nice. Um, I don't really like the camera move uh, because it's it's a little... Uh, I don't know, for some reason I'm finding it a little dizzying. Um, I think when you move a camera, you want to move a camera like a real camera. And this, is, this would have to be like a crane shot because um, it's moving and rotating uh, and transiting all at the same time. So I would say, uh, you know, if you're going to move it, move it just in a, just do like a, like a pan where it's just rotating in the Y axis or, or just, a, you know, track, like it's on a track, you know, like a dolly track. Um, so, uh, I would just not do a camera move though. If you want to do anything, just do a cut, like start in that first shot and then you could cut to this last shot during the move. So the environment and the lighting, I think look really good uh, and the animation's all right. Uh, I think you could up the quality of your render because the, the grain is a little, it's kind of got a lot of dancing grain and stuff. Um, and then there's some sort of jerky movements of his arms at the end. I think you could speed some of that up. Like, I think if you could, in your animation, like do a little hold there and like maybe push his thumb down. So have his arm freeze there and push the thumb down. You know, so it pauses there. And then, yeah, he kind of drops that a little weird. You can make that a little better. And then maybe do another hold, you know, once he stands up, like maybe around there. And you kind of hold in the stretch, all right? Yeah, that's not too bad. So I think you could do a few touch-ups on the animation and um, maybe do a higher quality render.